What is happening, everyone? Welcome to G-Ball Vision. Today we are talking about my 10 favorite knives from Migron and AM8. We're going to kick it off with a runner-up that did not make the top 10, although this is a fantastic knife. Coming in at $35, the Migron Taycog has 14C28N, a nice tumbled finish. You have a single stud and a top flipper for deployment, G10 handles. They're pretty thick along with the steel liners. It gives you a nice grip, deep carry pocket clip. It is not reversible, little lanyard hole, good access to that liner with a chamfer, nice clean blade. Uh, this is a fantastic knife at 35 bucks. It would make an awesome backup knife and an awesome beater knife or EDC knife for somebody especially if you're looking at the $35, $40 mark. Let's go ahead and get off to number 10. Now, don't be getting too excited. I mean, let's get to number 10. Now, this knife is potentially the knife that kicked off my love for Migron. This is the first Migron that I ever got, the Migron Acri. And it's about eight and a half inches. It's an absolute beast. If you have not experienced Migron's older budget knives from a year or two ago you really need to check them out now this is a front flipper only but the front flipper is extremely well done detent is tuned fantastic nice drop point tumbled blade coming in 14c 28n absolutely wonderful steel you have these beautiful contour g10 handles uh, not the greatest access to that liner, but they do chamfer it and jimp it. So it's it's really not that hard to get into. 50 bucks for this thing, or roughly 50 bucks. And for the materials you're getting, the size of the knife, uh, the action on this thing is absolutely incredible. Crown spine. It's hard to ask for much more. If you like front flippers and you like bigger knives, there's something about front flipping out that massive blade. Uh, this is a fantastic budget knife and one I could definitely recommend. That is number 10, the Migron Acri. Let's get to the next one. The next one is going to be, it's a fairly new acquisition within the last six to nine months or so, the Migron Pagos 2. This is a fantastic secondary knife you're getting m390 they also did a budget version of this knife migaron does great at making budget versions of knives and then they turn around and make premium models off those budget knives if they're a big hit and sometimes they do it in the reverse they'll do a premium version and then they'll put out a budget version so it just kind of depends but if it's a big hit they usually will do one of each a budget and a mid-tier one and in the case of the pegos 2 they did both you have titanium thumb studs and a front flipper for deployment the detent is tuned very well nice sharpening choil good access to the lock bar you have micro milled titanium handles very well finished titanium backspacer titanium pocket clip this makes a great secondary knife it's like a straight back drop point blade, a little bit of belly, nice tip, nice edge there. It's a fantastic knife at a fantastic price. That is number nine, the Migaron Pegos 2. Has incredible action, great access to that lock bar. This thing is absolutely fantastic. Let's get to the next one. So the next one up is going to be the first premium Migaron that I ever experienced and I absolutely love this knife so this is coming in S90V I believe if I can find it where does oh it's on the right there baby S90V you have a beautiful machine satin finish on there look at that thing and this was from a year over a year ago, guys. So Migaron's been killing it for a long time. You have blue marbled carbon fiber inserts on this titanium frame. Uh, and then you also have one on the lock side with a tie clip, tie backspacer. 
great access with a chamfer on this guy this is a clip point style blade but i have found it to be extremely fun to carry very very comfortable you have a nice spot there for your thumb ergos on this thing are fantastic i think it's a great looking knife and it has awesome materials and the price on all of these knives is just downright fantastic uh, when we get into some of their newer stuff they are just doing an incredible job and continuing to do an incredible job let's go ahead and we'll get to the next one so we might as well bring this guy out. Now this is the Migron Centurion in its budget form. Now this one is a new release from this year, whereas the premium one, the Centurion 2, came out last year. They are identical in size, but the Centurion in the budget form has an added flipper tab, which makes me like this knife even more so. I kind of wish this had a flipper tab as well and I think going back to the drawing board they realized they could add a flipper tab to this guy you know you don't have a finger choil or a 50 50 area really there so you might as well add the flipper tab for an extra deployment option now there is a big price difference this is under 50 bucks these are over 150 bucks if you can even find them in stock these are very hard to get uh, or they're usually hard to get this one's coming in 14c 28n Migron loves 14c and so do i so does a lot of people this has contoured g10 handles you have a titanium milled clip g10 backspacer anodized pivot collar also a clip point blade just like its older brother there fantastic knife especially coming in under the 50 dollar price point the migron centurion is probably going to be my under 50 dollar knife of the year it is right now the leading uh number one spot as of right now let's go ahead and get to the next one so out of all of these knives <clears throat> i consider the am8 gladiator 2 the best value on the market or it is one of the best values on the market and it is certainly the best value out of all of Migron's knives this knife can routinely be had around the 150 160 mark and for that you're going to be getting s90v titanium thumb studs beautiful drop point blade i love this thing it's so unique you have a swedge going to the tip i just love that straight angle down uh you know it's it's very unique in my opinion you know opposed to a drop point like this it, it's very different and i really like it you have a front flipper that is designed fantastic detent is tuned very very well great access with a chamfer on the lock bar incredible action on this thing nice and smooth uh stone washed titanium handles and they're tumbled as well so they just look absolutely fantastic lanyard hole minimal hardware titanium pocket clip titanium backspacer uh this knife is an absolute masterpiece at the price point this thing is extremely hard to beat, and it's an awesome size. Uh, I bet it's coming in right around eight and a half, maybe somewhere in there. A little over eight, about eight and a quarter. So it's a fantastic size. Love the Gladiator too. If you're looking for the best bang for your buck, this is definitely one to take a look at. I highly recommend it. It's a fantastic knife and it will also be a fidget monster for you as well. Let's go ahead and get to the next one. Although these are not in any particular order, I feel like these last five in their respected price points are the best Migron knives as of right now. So the Moyero is 
one of the best $50 knives on the market. I tend to like this one better, uh, the Centurion, for the money. Uh, you're getting contoured G10 handles that are excellently well finished. Now, although this, this is finished well, they are flat and they just are different. It's a different finish. I prefer this. Uh, and I know a lot of people would prefer the contoured over the flat. Doesn't take anything away from this knife. 14C, PVD coated, nice drop point blade. You have a single means of deployment with the cutout there. You do have great access to that liner with a chamfer. Nice clean blade. AMA and Migron do a fantastic job of keeping the blade clean, giving you lots of access to the lock bar or liner, chamfering it or jimping it or both. Uh, they just do a fantastic job. And at the end of the day, they do their pricing just phenomenal. I think it's some of the best in the business. You have a white G10 backspacer, milled titanium clip, all DLC'd hardware. Under 50 bucks, guys. This is a great user knife right here. I know some people that have two and three of these because they like them so much. Uh, and I'm a huge fan of this knife. Although I would recommend the Centurion first. This is definitely up there with one of my favorite $50 knives of all time. Let's go ahead and get to the next one. So this next one is going to be... This is the one that kind of solidified Migaron for me. This was the second Migaron that I ever got. And if you remember, the Acri was the first Migaron that I ever got. After getting these two, I was like, I need to experience a premium one, you know? And that's when I got the Centurion too. Uh, but the Valona, guys, is just ridiculous. It comes in at almost nine inches overall. So it is an absolute monster. 14C, 28N, you do have this like DLC uh, PVD style coating, but it's got like a gloss finish to it, so it looks pretty cool. You do have a nice fuller running the full length, nice drop point blade, and then you also have a flipper tab. The detent on this thing is tuned to perfection. Oh man, I, I love this knife. And these can routinely be had around the $50 price point as well. Milled tie clip, G10 backspacer, shadow box look with the G10 over the steel liners. I think it looks awesome like that. Nice clean blade, Migaron on the pivot there. Just a fantastic job. Crown, spine. I mean, where else can you get... 14C, a crown spine, multiple deployments, a titanium clip, all for around 50, 60 bucks. You're just not going to find that very many places. And Migaron does that, and they give you great builds on top of that. Brass pivot collar, just nice little touches from Migaron. If they keep this up, they are going to be climbing the ladder to the top very very quickly and they already are in my opinion climbing that ladder uh, they are separating themselves from a lot a lot of different companies so next up we have the am8 prayer 2 now this thing is also an amazing amazing deal you're getting s90v pvd coated you have a oblong cutout and a rear flipper tab for deployment. Beautiful titanium handles that have a diamond textured pattern on the flats. And then you have horizontal milling on the chamfered edges. Great access to the lock bar with some jimping. Tie pocket clip, tie backspacer, incredible ergos. The action is fantastic on this thing. The detent is tuned perfectly on this guy. And all these knives that you are seeing are under 200 bucks. You will not find that very many places. S90V and titanium for under 200 bucks. It's a rare occasion, but Migaron and AM8 do it all the time. And they give you great builds on top of it. Let's go ahead and we'll get to number nine. 
The Migron Curex 2. This has been a huge hit this year. M390 high polished sandblasted blade. It is a sheep's foot Warren Cliff esque style blade. You have a cutout and a top front flipper for deployment. Uh, they all work very, very well if you don't botch the opening. You can reverse flick this guy. You can thumb flick this guy. It has very good action. Blade is nice and clean. Make her on on the pivot. You have this beautiful micro milled pattern done on the titanium scales. Great access with a chamfer, of course. Titanium pocket clip, geared titanium backspacer, and then another brass pivot collar there. The Migron Curex 2 comes in at like 180, 190. This is a fantastic, fantastic knife. Absolutely love this thing. It's a great gentleman's knife. Let's go ahead and get to number 10 or number 1, the Migron or the AM8 Knives Flix 2. Sorry, guys. This one is the newest one to me, and this is probably, out of all these, this is my favorite Migron AM8 ever. Uh, this has quickly moved into one of my favorite knives. Um, the Flix 2 is just absolutely incredible. For $180, $190, you're getting a high-polished, sandblasted S90V drop point blade swedge going to the tip nice oblong cut out there and a top front flipper that's very ray laconico esque as i have been saying and it, this guy is tuned to absolute perfection guys you can thumb flick it out you can reverse flick it do all the top flipper stuff that you would want to do there is an unboxing up on the channel. Uh, head over and check it out if you haven't seen it yet. Beautiful milled titanium bolsters. Look at that milling, guys. And it's got awesome texture. Nice clean pivot. Copper infused carbon fiber onlays here. Just so stunning. Look at that. Very, very nice. Titanium backspacer. Titanium pocket clip. And on the clip side... You have another onlay, so they don't skimp you on the onlays. Great ergos, guys. You have a 50-50 area, full choke up. You can get right up on that edge. You can get right up on that tip. This is just absolutely fantastic. I love this thing. Um, I cannot praise this knife enough. It is just so well executed. I absolutely love it. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite one is or your favorite couple for that matter. I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, I've been on the Megaron train for quite a while. I'm a huge fan of what they are doing. And I hope they continue this trend. They have been doing a fantastic job. And I just I love what they're doing. Their pricing is second to none. They are the best price versus material versus build on the market. They give you the best bang for your buck across the board. No question whether it's $50 knives or $150 knives. They give you the best bang for your buck. No question. Let me know down in the comments which one your favorite is, which one you're looking to get. I'd love to hear it. If you're new to the channel or you're just not subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below the video or click the G-Ball Vision logo coming at the center of your screen. I'm going to throw up two new videos. Go check them out. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up on your way out. Love you guys, and I will catch you on the next one.